Hi guys, hello, welcome back to another episode of Rob's Engine Repairs. Right, now in this one, we've got the web back. Uh, I sold this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the gentleman said, it's not running, it won't work, it won't start. Obviously, we know different, it's fully serviced, etc. Anyway, upon looking... I will show you is uh, snap the cable the throttle cable you can see there so it's in a a pretty rough state let's just say so let's uh, get it set up and then uh, we'll go from there and we'll have a look see what to uh, see what's happening be right back folks welcome back so We've had, or should I say, I've had a little inspection on the uh, mower. And what I have noticed is if you watch the uh, the dead man's hand, or as I like to say. You ready? This is me pulling it in fully. So that is where the problem is. So what we need to do is this cable here underneath it's been stretched to the point where it's at its most stretched basically. So what we need to do is we'll get the 10 milli on the socket and then uh, we'll get to I think it's a 13mm behind that, I'll have a look. And then uh, we'll make sure it's uh, disconnecting and connecting properly. Be right back. Right folks, we're back. So, let's get... Ten mil. Just gonna take this out of the way. Now that oil. Mm, it's not too bad. I've seen worse. Don't forget this oil it had uh, water in it, so probably could do with a changing any if I'm honest. But this is the culprit here. So it's not it's not adjusting as we'd like, so we're going to have to adjust this uh, adjust these nuts to where we need them so slacking them off and then slacking this one off So, I mean, it is right at the end of its life there, folks, so it might need a cable, a new cable, but let's just see. We might get away with it, we might not. Push that in there. 
Right, so you watch this, folks. And see if it's uh, moving enough. Much better, that. So that's moving enough now. We can... Uh, See, that's all it is sometimes, just a, a silly little uh, problem like the, the belt being overstretched and overtired. But that'll do. So we'll button that back up. Like so. Perfect that. So what we'll do now, we'll give it a little, give it a little, uh, I don't know if it's got prime on this now, I can't remember, I think it's choked. Zoom you out a bit there guys. HT lead, so that's on. Yeah. Right, I think this choke lever needs adjusting as well. I'll tell you what, let's uh, pop it on the floor. Move it out of the way. Yeah, I don't think that choke's moving enough for me. Let's adjust it. Get some other play, so. Clean shot.
on that. There we go. Now we're getting choked. Perfect. Let's dig a little deeper. See what uh, <clears throat> I'll get a spark plug spanner and I'll come back. Folks, welcome back. So what I've done, I've had the car buff cleaned it and it was full of water. So I'm guessing when he stores it. He's not, uh, he's just leaving it to the elements. So. That'll do. And as you can see, Cables there, what is, I don't know what they've done though. What a mess. What a mess. But we'll tidy that up. We'll take our tools in. We'll take our truly rulers in. Um, we shall snip off he says he's not bothered about uh, self drive wonder why but there you go so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off Take that side out. Pop that back in. Like so. And there we have. It's restored to a push mower. There we go. So. Try it again. Don't need to show con obviously because it's running. So that for me folks. So sorry it's been so long for this uh, episode. Obviously, with the pups and that, I've just been super busy. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, because there's a lot more coming. Stay safe. God bless you all. Thanks for watching Rob's Small Engine Repairs. If you enjoyed the content, please like, share, and subscribe.